part of it is because, as you know, I was joking in one sense, but in another sense, part of it is that, you know, a lot of times if certain things are revealed, especially early in the game, then the man is not going to even have a chance most of the time. You know, so some men feel not, they're not secure enough, so they embellish a little bit, or they don't disclose certain things because, you know, they're trying to gain entrance in some way, shape, or form or get with the sister. And they know if I if I say this, the chances of me getting in is slim and none. <laughs> So I'm going to just wait until, you know, <laughs> later on down the line, and I'm going to tell a story that's missing a few things. <laughs> and hope she no. don't pick up on it. Yeah, well, basically, it's be. like, hope, hopefully once he, you know, once I get in, you know, once he, you know, she see I'm a nice guy, and she'll forget all of that. Oh, my God. Oh. The man is my style. It has that's the more it has to end. Like you just just finish the story, everything, the beginning, middle, and end. You want it all. Like well, also, what were you saying? Because you had a different point of view. You said that um, I think you mentioned on Facebook that you don't think that it's intentional when men leave things out. So, well, let me. Okay, yeah, I I, put, I brought up that a lot of times, like um. Dr. Gray says in his book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Women think like school teachers. They're very detailed. And men more or less think like coaches of basketball teams. And a lot of times um, women are more into details than men are. And what happens, like for some men, some men aren't so detailed, so they may leave out something, and the woman may feel that the guy is hiding something. That's not necessarily so. And then again, however, there are people who do leave things out, do leave out certain details. Like Brother Mike said earlier when he was jokingly saying that um, some people, like, they can't handle the truth. <laughs> so a guy may go, he may leave, say, I'm going to the store. Go to the store, go to the ATM, bump it to an old friend, <laughs> cool out with them for a second, but then bump it to somebody else. And when he comes home, his wife or his girlfriend may say, hey, um, Where'd you, where were you at? You went to go to the store. You've been going for a while. He's like, oh, I, I did this, I did this, I did that. But he leaves out that he bumped into an old friend who just happens to be an old girlfriend. <laughs> Somebody else sees it. And so now she gets the report, and she's like, oh, you lied to me. What happened? You, I heard you ran into Stella. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> God, God. So sometimes that may be the case, too. But I don't think you know, it's always women. You got you yeah, to know who you with, though. Yeah, it's not just that. You know how sometimes women get this when it comes to the old girlfriend or anybody on that line, it's like just to avoid the argument or the grilling, it's like mm-hmm. not worth mentioning. See, but that's what I'm like you gotta know who you with though. It's like some women, if they hear it from somebody else, it's gonna be worse than if they heard it from you. It's like if you're the first one to say, Oh, I ran in the second such at the store, then it's just like, oh, okay, what's up with her? But then if you don't say nothing and they hear from somebody, oh, whew, I got to bring my, my blood pressure down, and they hear from somebody else, that just, it just makes you look like you're lying. And then now she reading into everything you're saying, you know? Yeah, that's the thing I don't like. See, I feel like let me make a decision of whether it's a big deal or not. Because it may not be a big deal. If you tell me and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, especially if we cool, everything between us is cool, and there's no reason for me to be flipping out, then let me make that decision. Don't make it for me like, oh, um, I'm going to just decide for her. She don't need to know that because she can't handle it. Like we just don't go. We just don't clock. But but you got but the, it depends on the situation and the timing of it. Like for instance, if yeah, we come back in and we're trying to sit down and watch the game and so <laughs> forth and so on, we know now may not be the time to say that because yeah. now we got to get into it. Yeah, I'm trying to watch this true, game. True. Come on, we're coming when we. I'm trying to, to watch this game. I agree with that. Say that again. Say that again. I said, so now we come and we're supposed to have the discussions about that. <laughs> 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 okay. 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Dominique brought it up. She said you got to know the person that you with. Exactly. <laughs> you know, we some of us know. Okay, if I say this right now, this is going to be about 45 minutes that I'm going to miss of this game. For sure. <laughs> and I'm not mad at that because even, that is true. <laughs> it's true. And, and we're not going to let it go. And sometimes it's like you know you know that, you know, you, you, you're you dealing with the sex of Crusoe. So if you say one thing, yeah, I ran into so-and-so, now that turns into a thousand questions about well, why are you talking to so-and-so and this, that. Now that mm-hmm. brings all this suspicion. And, How she look? Is she cute? You know, and you got to, yeah. I, I, I gotta true. agree with that because it, it happens. I agree with I'm that. Yeah. And then if you, you know, if you do one thing the next week, you're gonna be like, oh, so you was with her again? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna always go back to her. <laughs> yep. <laughs> can definitely kick it into suspicion mode, like, and then because we don't trust her, so everything she do. Now here's another thing, though. In that same situation, you give that email your contact information. That. Ridiculous! Now she's calling your phone or like she's texting you or something, even on occasion, and you've made something that was could blow over a huge situation. We do read in the stuff, but I think a lot of times in those crossroads that men come to, they just kind of take the wall left, and it just it just starts suspicions going even more because we think. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. I I I, guess I, I, I can understand that. Well, we've been uh-huh. talking. What about the guy? What's what's about the woman? That's uh, Ooh, when you're man. with you. How long is this show? <laughs> <laughs> there are not I that think many. we got an hour, but I, I I can hear you. I can hear you one or two things. No. <laughs> okay. All right, I have one for you. One of my pet peeves is I hate it when women kind of treat me like. The last dude, like, they blame me for stuff that the last dude did to them. And I'm not even guilty of that. If I do something that kind of similar looks like what they did, or, like, I'm going to even do something similar to what they did, you know, I'm getting, I'm taking the blame or I'm suffering from what the last guy did, you know, being prejudged and, and put in the same or grouped in the same category just because the last guy was like that. Oh, no. I'm going to say that, that that's a sense but. of heightened awareness right there. Like, it's just kind of like you don't want that to repeat itself and you're prepared. And mm-hmm. it's kind of like you got to um, you gotta get into the zone before you kind of let your guard down to accept and say, you know, all right, you're not trying to do that to me or what have you. But it's just like first it's just a real sensitive heightened awareness and then – Right, gradual, fit into the game and roll with the, you know, do what you got to do. But I mean, yeah, sometimes we could be chip. on that. I'm sorry, say that again. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were talking at the same time. But I said, you know, sometimes women can be on that. That's legitimate. But my thing is, men say that to me just because I'm not interested. Like, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not punishing you for what the last guy did. I didn't even punish the last guy for what the last guy did, and he deserved it. I'm just trying to, like, not put my heart in that same position that it was in before and be a little bit smarter about how I approach this next situation. It's oh. like what other men were saying. So what what about so now we're talking about being truthful and upfront and all and, and, and all revealing and, and, and all revealing but then you saying you're gonna hold your heart back because of what the last dude did. Now I'm not even doing anything wrong. You know? <laughs> but I, but I, I you're doing not things that doing are similar. Wrong. You are right. doing things that are similar. Like But it ain't the same. It may be it may be similar, but the circumstances are different. I'm a total different person. I do, I'm doing things for the reasons that I'm doing, and, but I get like treated like he did like, in the beginning. Though you look just <laughs> you look just like he did. Like everybody, like, what is, the heck? Everybody has that smile and that charm. Dominique, in psychology oh, they call that. Have it. In psychology they call that transference. 
when you right. go on, you, when 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 somebody reminds you of somebody um, by something that they did or said, and you you holding them accountable, and all of a sudden you no longer looking at brother Mike, but you looking at brother Bob, who is you know who did something to you from back in the days, and you having flashbacks and experience and transference, and so now you projecting that on brother Mike. Uh-huh. I can feel that. I can feel that. I can't even say that's not the case sometimes. Yeah, it happens. It happens a lot of times. It happens a lot of times with a lot of us. We, you know, somebody does something to us, or something reminds us of something, because that's how the mind works. Anything that you know, project or click back in the subconscious, and like, oh yeah, this happened before. So we automatically yeah. try to respond as a defense mechanism in that particular area, like that. But I think one yeah, of my I biggest. Yeah, I think hear me. I think one of my biggest pet peeves. Can y'all hear me? Okay, hi. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can, Nella. Okay, hi. I'm sorry. I am dealing with a serious deficit. I don't know about you guys. Was there a point where the sound quality was actually improved? Yeah. 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 Okay, that was probably when I was disconnected. Okay, yeah, great. Okay. <laughs> you guys knew what I was going through over here, and right now I hear a literal cacophony of sounds. Like you would not believe how many thousands of people I'm hearing right now. Um, is anyone like else? Older guys. Yeah, yeah. This is like wow. Seriously. Um, and I think probably the best decision is for me not to be a part of things. That would <laughs> because it was better when I wasn't connected. Um, I am going to, um, so you guys continue, I still wanted to jump in, but I'm going to try to correct the confusion made by my entrance. I'm, I'm going to try to fix this. Um, so, yeah, so let's, 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 let's let the debate continue. I just wanted to make sure you guys could hear me. Okay. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh. Ah, the Puff Daddy remix. Right? <laughs> Oh, but as I was saying, y'all, um, one of my biggest pet peeves is um, when a woman believes or thinks that she needs to change me or something, you know? Really? I, uh, That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. I, 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 like, I hate that. I'm like, I get infuriated by that because, okay, you were tra- you was attracted to me and all the things that you, oh, you like this, you like that, but... What if you do this? What? So now you're trying to redefine me and reshape me. I don't um, like that. Mm. Ouch. If you can't say amen, say ouch. <laughs> you know what? Can I just say something? Can everyone hear me? You're yeah. so cool. Can we can hear you good. Okay. Yay. I just wanted to say something that um, got, and you guys were making me laugh. It was hysterical about, um, you know, how women have a tendency to judge the current man based on her negative, especially, experiences with, you know, former guys. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of wanted to say this. I've heard men complain about that a lot, especially in a lot of songs and stuff like that. And I just want to say it kind of brings up the whole, I'm going to get a little philosophical or metaphysical for a minute, but it just kind of brings up the fact that we as women, as people, period, but let's just take it for women right now, When we're in a relationship with a guy, we're usually in a relationship with ourselves. It's really more about us. And when we have been hurt by a guy, when we have been lied to, when we have been rejected, being lied to, being, um, you know, misled, all of those are forms of rejection. And when we have been rejected in that way, we take it personally as a mark against ourselves.